Welcome back to another video guys. In this video I am going to go through this fault code here. So, the engine light is intermittent. Sometimes it comes on, obviously. When you clear it, it goes off and it comes back and sometimes it's quite instant. So, right now it's completely permanent in this other words. So, knock sensor A, there's some a sensor B as well, which is the other one. Uh, it's like the injector uh, that goes into the AdBlue and whatnot. It's roughly a few hundred, not much. Um, again, this one sensor A, which is the main module on the AdBlue tank, which I am going to upload uh, an image of here. Uh, this is VWT1, which is a two liter diesel, uh, 2019. So to fix this code, this fault here, uh, we recommend you change this component here. That's that you can see on the screen. This is what you need to change. It's literally plug and play, really. Doesn't. It may do. It depends. Sometimes you may be lucky. You get away. Um, plug it in. Done. Dusted. Um, but if your engine lights on, there is no question. You will definitely need a diagnostic scan to clear it um, and reset the modes. But if your engine light not on and it comes on here and there and it's not on at the point when you change it, then you're good. Just drive it, I guess. But that is to do with that uh, module. Uh, you can pick them up. I highly recommend you get OEM uh, components and not aftermarket because they will play up. The, uh, the, the other alternative would be to remap them and, and just get them off the system completely. But that's for you guys to decide whether it's legal or not. But that's a decision to be made by yourself, really. It probably saves yourself probably hundreds of pounds every year. Not having to top up AdBlue with the AdBlue uh, pricings. Uh, crazy. But um, that's what that code is. And um, they are found around the AdBlue tank uh, on the v in, in the VAG world. I mean, CS, Audi, CS, Code, VW, they're all the same, to be fair. Just a different badge, so they'll all be very similar. Now, remember, the knock sensor is usually to be found around these sort of areas. Um, you will find it, you'll just have to navigate. I don't have any ramp, but this module is literally unbolting it, unbolting the new one in. Now you can check the wire, wire harness and um, wiring harness to see if it does actually, if there's power going to it. Obviously, if there is, then that will be 100% the module. Um, but it's best on a ramp. But you will see it on the exhaust itself. You'll see that module that I uploaded, literally the shape of that. And you just try uh, track and trace it. Um, onto the exhaust and see where it leads to undo the bolts pop it in and it's done and dusted it's nothing hard really to be fair if you're handy i'm pretty sure you can do it yourself